Hey what's going on guys and welcome back. So with Tales of Tenorio now officially being out and as of such the special 1.5 times shiny event also being something that's coming this weekend, I figured there was no better time than now than to discuss the shiny system present within the game. Now do keep in mind that because the game just released, there is a fair chance that we will receive more information about the shiny system once people really start digging into things, but this video should act at the very least as a breakdown discussing what the shiny system is, what to expect when a shiny is present, and three ways in which you can increase your shiny odds. If you didn't watch my video going over five things you should know going into Tales of Tenorio, definitely do so after watching this video, but also keep in mind that a lot of what we're going to be talking about does stem from that video in which we did talk a little bit about the shiny system. Also, if you're watching this in the far future, this video should still be useful to you if you're just looking for a basic breakdown of the system itself and what you need to do in order to increase those odds. So anyways, all that being said, subscribe for daily monster taming videos and let's dive in. Okay, so if you don't know what a shiny is, I'll honestly be surprised, but basically they're alternate colored monsters made popular by the Pokemon franchise. The shiny system in Tales of Tenorio operates very similarly to that of Pokemon in that every monster has the potential to be shiny, but instead of a 1 in 4,000 or 1 in 8,000 chance, depending on which Pokemon game you play, this time your odds are about 1 in 2,000. These of course can be manipulated, which we will get to in a second, but just note that just like Pokemon, shinies don't really seem to have any special properties other than their color palette, so this isn't a situation like Coromon where the shinies are more powerful than non-shinies. Now there are a couple of ways to increase these odds which I will get into now. The first method I want to put an asterisk next to because I haven't actually been able to encounter these just yet. It might just be based on where I am in the game or maybe it's something that's planned for a future update but the game does have horde encounters planned which are essentially five on one battles which will spawn depending on area and criteria. These don't necessarily boost the individual Tenorians present within them but if you're participating in a horde encounter you will be encountering five Tenorian at a time meaning that the odds become 5 in 2,000 instead of 1 in 2,000, which can be simplified down to 1 in 400. The second more direct method of hunting these things is called chaining, where you essentially have to defeat multiple of the same Tenorian over and over again in a chain. Every time you kill a Tenorian of a certain species, you will see a little icon on the bottom right corner of the screen denoting your chain, and from what I understand, for the first 50 chains, you must defeat the Tenorian, and knocking out a Tenorian from another species will break the chain so you have to run away from those ones but after 50 is where it gets interesting because you actually can catch the Tenorian and not face the chain breaking penalty. You can chain up to a thousand times before the chain itself breaks. From what I understand there's no sympathy system either so you're not necessarily guaranteed a shiny just because you've chained the maximum amount. Your odds of getting a shiny will increase exponentially as the chain gets higher, however, so keep that in mind as well. Blacking out at any point during the chain will also break it, so don't die. Now there's one final method of obtaining shinies or at least increasing those odds, which is essentially community-based events such as the 1.5 times shiny rate event that's gonna be going on soon. And there are going to be more events as time passes. So make sure you're once again subscribed to the channel so you get notified when those events happen because I'll keep you guys informed. The maximum odds for a shiny is going to be one in 256 regardless of the method used or if any of them are stacked either. So you won't just be able to brute force these shinies and it does kind of keep them a little more rare but yeah that's pretty much it for the video like i said when more information becomes available i'll provide updated guides and breakdowns so stay tuned for that let me know what other guides and breakdowns you want to see for tales of tenorio and if you are just a fan of monster taming games this is a channel for you we put out daily monster taming content you can also check out my twitter discord patreon and channel memberships linked below and special thanks to our supporters especially jim hamilton drove ghost candy morency tragsoft and nemo and we'll see you next time peace